know if Justin Rangel, you were just here, that you just heard singing and playing. Justin, did you want to introduce the rest of Of course. Um, this is Captain Odell on the cello and uh, violin. <laughs> It feels like there's a, there's a lot of songs about babies and fathers, and it, it feels like there's a there's a family theme running through it. Is there a reason that that came up for you when um, you were writing this record? You know, some of it was just uh, it just some of it was subconscious, and I just had written a lot of songs about a lot of domestic things and, and families, and you know, some of it's fictionalized. It's not necessarily about my family, but um, I just kind of was kind of digging this deeper hole with it, and. It ended up just the record was kind of filled with songs of that nature. Yeah. It, it seems that there's also, it feels like there's themes about that fit in a recession right now, about people really struggling, and I guess it does make sense that that's kind of when people think and need their families the most. Right. Uh, I think that's a little bit of a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote most of the record uh, like a little bit over a year ago, so. It's a happy coincidence, oh, but also a really depressing one. <laughs> um, there's a beautiful song, Helen, on the record, and uh, it's a song, it's, it's about an ex of yours, or someone's, uh, finding a new love, and there's, there's a line in it that says, uh, what, will, what will you do when I'm fine, and what will I write when I'm fine? That I think a lot of writers think, you know, what will I write when I'm not miserable? Um, what, <laughs> what's your perfect mental state for creating music? Oh, well, you know, it's not a perfect one, I think. Um, I'm going to clarify and say someone's is a little bit better for me, personally. But, um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it, um, you know, I mean, that particular line, I guess, it just, it just, it kind of relates to the fact that, you know, I mean, I guess in writing a lot of the record, like, I think it's sometimes a fear of some songwriters, like what happens when the well runs dry, you know, or, or what happens when you when you can't draw from personal experience anymore, you know, and and um, you know, I'm just I'm just trying to, to touch on that kind of idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, I mean it's a beautiful line, and I think it really crystallizes that experience for a lot of writers. Um, and <laughs> it was interesting because I didn't actually know what you were saying until I looked the lyric sheet because you whispered it so quietly and, and you're sort of like the Michael Stipe of the aughts. Um, <laughs> and and it, it's fairly difficult to, to understand you and I did, I read a, an interview with you where you, where you, where you, where you talked a, a little bit about uh, the reason why you do that, which, which I found interesting. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, yeah, I mean, for, for me it's... Uh... I try, I try to, to do um, the music first before the lyrics for me, typically. Um, sometimes they happen at the same time, but, uh, you know, I, 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 try to, I try to be a singer first, and, uh, you know, I write the lyrics second, and sometimes, you know, that, that's kind of that's what happens is, you know, the lyrics can be slave to the melody, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, and do you feel like that also uh, it helps the listener in some way? To, to listen to the whole pack, the whole picture, instead of just concentrating on what the words are. Sometimes my mother doesn't think so. She she always tells me that I should should I I should enunciate more. <laughs> you know what? Screw her. <laughs> she doesn't know anything about oh, music. <laughs> no, actually, don't. It's Oedipal and gross. <laughs> was the perfect phrase to describe your music, um, the mood of your mu music, uh, as optimistically broken. Um, and that, what does that phrase evoke for you, and, and do you think that it's accurate? Yeah, I'll take that one. I think yeah. it's a good one. Yeah. Um, uh, I, you know, I, I, I can't say. I mean, um, it, I think it, that's a good, um, it's a pretty good description of it. I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, in mood, it's kind of down, but I mean, there's there's moments you know where it kind of brightens up in some of our tunes and um, so I'll take the optimistic part yeah for sure good <laughs> we will too uh, well you're gonna uh, come back sing one more song for us later it's been great having you here ladies Thank and gentlemen you. Uh, horse